I've been getting messages all year on how to get more weekend league wins during Mutt Champions. Honestly, I've been top 100 in weekend league every single weekend outside like the first two weekends of Madden 18. And it doesn't mean I'm the greatest Madden player, but it does mean that I know quite a bit about the game and that you can trust me when I'm giving you guys a tip on how to get more weekend league wins. Today we'll be going over how to throw the ball in weekend league, or particularly how to kill 91 zone coverage with one concept that's going to change your playbook if you don't know it already simply putting it's going to be against certain coverages but we will look at how to attack every single coverage today and i'll try to be quick with my points for you guys now what we will be looking at is the concept is under medium pass the smash concept today we're looking at the c route and not just any type of c route not just any type not if i click corner strike right here and I look at this, this is a short C route. It breaks it about 10 yards past the line of scrimmage. No, we don't want that. We don't want that. No, what we want is a 14 to 15 yard breaking C route. That is what we want, a longer developing C route. If I look at this, shakes is the play that I love to call. Almost a thousand play calls, over 10 yards of play against 91 zone and Madden 18. That is what we're talking about. We'll go up against first, nickel. Let's look at cover three hard flat instead this is a common adjustment that people like to play but i want to start with this just to show you the interaction with trey waynes and jordy nelson trey waynes has 91 zone jordy nelson has 91 route running this is what it's supposed to look like you throw it right on the break trey waynes will jump inside about four to five yards you can actually cut that upfield and almost take it for a touchdown i'll show it it's not a fluke if you're on the left hash mark with this play and i run it towards the left trey waynes jumps inside just like that every single get going jordy every single time now even if i'm on the right hash mark and i do it this way it's not something i like to do just because harrison smith if he's in a cloud flat or a purple will play it better but just for example trey wayne's still gonna play it the same way jordy nelson's still gonna have space to be able to put a move outside we're gonna get a lot of yards now heading back to the left hash mark for the sake of sake of consistency what we're going to look at is first cover three sky aka stock cover we'll be heading to the same concept i'm in a spread playbook by the way you can run it out of any playbook though you can run any long developing c route you just have to lab the exact way that it works cover three sky right here right here i know harrison smith is not going to play this ball even though he is in a purple zone boom jordy nelson right on the break takes it up this is 91 zone this is 91 zone on competitive i'll prove it oh not control no it pains me to be using the Packers, by the way. Well, I'm wearing a freaking Paul Krause Vikings jersey. I'm a Vikings fan. All pro, competitive. We're going to show you. 91 zone Trey Wayne has. Now, again, you do want 91 route running on your wide receiver. It makes them run uh, C routes a lot better. But cornerback, Trey Wayne's 91. Where are you? 91 zone coverage. Okay, every defender on the field has 91 zone that's in the secondary right now. So what we do know so far is that this, this Jordy route over there, him and Trey Waynes, Jordy will beat this if Trey Waynes is in a cover three shell or a cover three deep third. As long as Harrison Smith doesn't play this. So against hard flats and against cloud or against purples or cover three sky, I guess it's a seam flat. That will be there every single time. Now, what about if someone does a common adjustment online? The two common adjustments are hard flats and cloud flats. What if someone puts Harrison Smith in a cloud flat? Now, I don't have uh two controllers here so i can't mimic it exactly but i can come into four six normal and go with cloud flats over here anthony barr is the one who's going to be playing it now watch how well he will play it cloud flats play c routes now i was actually able to fit that in there somehow trey wayne still acted the same even though he's in a deep half him on that side he jumped straight in on the break it's just anthony barr is the one who's playing it i'll throw it a little right there Bar plays it. That's going to be picked very often. That's not a safe read to make. If they are in cloud flats, what I highly recommend to do, or actually every single time you run this, is take Williams, your left running back, motion him over, block Jones because we always want to have an extra blocker when we can. Williams is now on a drag. Jordy is now the only receiver to the left of Aaron Rodgers. He is the only guy on the left. When Jordy is the only guy, he will make cloud flats or soft squats play man coverage every single time. Anthony Barr is going to try to play Jordy here in man. There it is. Look at him. He's in man. And Jordy's going to beat him every time. Now, I want a better animation than that. That's not what we want. But he's going to beat him every single time. So even if they're playing clouds, you can make this work. Now, there are adjustments you can do as a defense that will make this play a little better. But that is what we're looking for. Wow, I threw that awful timing. I threw that way too early. That was my bad. Like, totally my fault. 
showing you guys one more time though again Trey Wayne's in a deep path this isn't an ideal situation but it will play very similarly there he goes jumping inside I wish I could get a better rack animation with Jordy still a catch that's about 18 19 20 plus yards we're looking at right there that's what we're wanting on weekend league when we need a big first down we need a big play or you just want someone to respect you as a passer that's what we're looking for to start the game now we showed it against cover three we can show it against uh we also showed it against cover two invert and with hards clouds and seam flats or the most common purples in the game stock cover three we can run the same shakes play though also against cover four and it will interact in a very similar manner we can watch bar's gonna play williams here he'll jump down on him in his quarter flat and boom nelson will get trey waynes to shoot inside and that's a read we're going to be able to make every single time and usually the honestly the later you throw it the better you want it to develop like that and you can get trey waynes to jump fully inside and make uh honestly make no sort of break on the ball that is what's great uh, even if i pull williams over we can watch bar play this he stays on the inside then he breaks down nelson still gets open against trey waynes every single time i'm doing it always in my mind i'm trying to keep this short side of the field this same c route look Jordy Nelson's running 15, Adams running about 14. I think I can still make this to Adams over here. Newman, no, he doesn't play it. It still works over with Adams, but I don't like making as far of a throw. I like the interaction that I have on the short side of the field with Jordy or the single side receiver a lot better. So that's what I try to do most of the time. And again, even if I'm looking at this, I don't know what coverage they're in. Yeah, I can kind of tell. But say they're baseline, I want to do the same exact setup. I'm going to put actually Adams on an end too. This is the setup I'm going to look to beat every single coverage out of this play. You can do this with every play in the game. Oh, I just made an awful read. Bar came down on that. I didn't think he was going to come down that late. But if he's in a seam flat or a quarter flat like he is in cover four, you're still going to be able to beat this coverage with that C route almost every single time. You just got to be careful with how Bar plays it. He comes down, boom, beat it with Jordy every time. And even if that's not there, you're going to have check down options across the board. So, for example... We've shown beating cover three, beating cover four, hard flats, cloud flats, purples. We can show it now with the situation of cover two. We'll just go with uh, freaking Tampa two. There it is. I don't know why I went the backwards way. But same thing applies. Jordy Nelson is going to be played right here very well by Trey Waynes. Look at that. Boom. Throw it right at him. It's a pick. Every single time if he's in a cloud. Now... Like I said with the single side receiver, how it turns clouds and soft squats to man coverage. I bring Williams over. I'm doing this setup. Jordy Nelson's the only one on the left side of Aaron Rodgers. Trey Wayne's going to be playing man coverage if he's in cover two. If he's in cover three or cover four, Jordy Nelson's going to be able to burn him with a C route. So, again, we're, I don't want to be throwing man coverage C routes. But what I do want to be, unless if it's like Richard Sherman or something, this is the point. If it's a bad man coverage guy, I want to throw C routes at him. He'll be able to burn him every time. Now... Trey Waynes, however, I have 99 man on him. So I'm going to stay away from throwing man coverage C routes. They're usually not going to be completed. However, I'm going to be able to check down across the field. I'm going to be able to throw this, this drag because Trey Wayne's is going to be playing nowhere near this ball, especially if I like put him on a fade or something like that. He's going to be nowhere near this ball. If that drags there, if Barr doesn't play it, boom, that is a lot of room. And even with the check down on the end, we got a lot of room to run with Adams. So we've got a ton of different uh, options here. And if we're facing cover four, cover three, that Nelson route is going to be just absolutely naked. Now with, right there, he just beat it in man coverage. That's 99 man. That's something you want to be careful of. Maybe it's a timing thing. But I would highly suggest you don't throw at a 99 man coverage C route. We can try it again. Maybe throw it C right there. He plays it. Jordy almost makes a play. I don't want to do that. I want to throw the check down when I see that. But again, the way we read it, we're watching the two deep safeties. We're watching his interaction. We can tell he's in man right away. And, and that's what, or we can tell he's in a cloud right away, not in cover three or cover four. That's what we want to be doing out here. That is how I attack 91 zone coverage, guys. Again, they play really well. So what we're going to do is exploit them. If they have 89 or 90 uh, zone coverage on the outside on Jordy Nelson, it will play better than if they have 91. The good thing is you're going to be facing almost all 91 guys in uh, weekend league. And that's the way we're going to attack it is throwing at Jordy Nelson over there on the side and, and just hoping to make a play. Or, you know, we got other check downs across the field. We got low points. Use those to your advantage when they're there. But, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much. If you did enjoy it, if it does help, please drop a like on the video. I would really appreciate that. If you want to see more weekend league tips, I would love to bring them to you guys. I appreciate you guys watching again. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.